Okay, this is my Panasonic Viera model number TH42PX60U. I've had it for about 9-10 years now and um, recently it's uh, kind of been acting up. I've been getting the seven blinking lights, the famous seven blinking lights, which uh, supposedly indicates that there is a bad SC board uh, going on inside that needs to be replaced. So as you can see, when we turn on and power up, this is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a service light that indicates uh, that uh, one of the boards is, uh, there's a problem with it, and usually it's the SC board. So we're going to go ahead and try to fix it by replacing that board. Okay, so here is the replacement SC board that I ordered um, online off of eBay. I actually got it for $25, free shipping, so it was uh, not bad of a deal. Um, otherwise, the alternative is that I spend, um, you know, maybe like $180 to have someone repair it, including parts and labors. So I figured $25 online by myself, you know, it's a gamble. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, worth a shot but this is what the board looks like it's a pretty it's a pretty big piece uh, part number TMP a 3814 SC board all right let's uh, see if this works okay so this is the back panel of uh, the Viera Panasonic TV and there's uh, there's a bunch of screws on the perimeter on and on the inside that I'm gonna have to take off uh, it's a pretty easy job to do uh, take off this back panel so let's just get a foam screwdriver take this back panel out get inside and uh, get to the board now one of the first things that you want to do before you even start playing around with your TV is you want to unplug it and to make sure you don't get shot go ahead and remove it from the wall take it out and go ahead and ground yourself you know just go ahead and touch to uh, ground yourself but uh, you should let this sit for at least, you know, a few minutes to let the juices all kind of flow out of this thing just to be safe before you go in there and touch it with a screwdriver or start disconnecting things. Okay, so here we are. I got the back panel taken off and now we're looking at the inside guts of the TV here. So this is the old SC board right here. And as you can see, I've already taken the liberty of disconnecting these two connectors here, this one down here, and then there are these connectors here, as well as right here. And now I just have to slide this board out and remove it and replace it with a new board. Okay, so I've now installed the new board, and as you can see, this is connected here. We're all connected all four points on the left side and one two and three connectors on the right so let's close her up and uh, let's see if it works okay so moment of truth now once I push that power button if we have the seven blinking lights obviously the board didn't work and uh, and that that attempt to uh, change that part you know wasn't the answer um, but obviously if it's a solid light then we're looking good I'll turn my cable box on and um, we'll see if we get a signal and if we get a picture and if, if so, that'll be great. Here we go. Looking good so far. It's not blinking. Let's turn on the cable and let's see what happens here. Awesome. It worked. $25. Did it myself. And uh, my plasma is uh, back alive and working again. And hopefully, if I can get another year or two out of it, that'll be great. $25, well worth it. And, uh, and the effort to do it myself. Thanks, guys, for watching. Good luck. Hopefully, this helps someone else um, in your own issues with the seven blinking lights.